Good morning, good morning. Uh, this is Chris and Barbara from Artistic Artifacts and um, our Facebook Live today is gonna be all about panel inspiration, uh, using fabric panels in your projects. And, um, but first we have a few announcements to make. Um, let's see, Judy's head, headed uh, this afternoon, early tomorrow morning to Bernina University where she'll learn all about the new um, products they have coming out and some other events. So um, we might be seeing some Facebook Live or Instagram Live from Judy. Um, she'll be out in Palm Springs and I know she's meeting with, um, Cape will actually out, be out there. So she's gonna be talking to Cape in person. Um, Andrew, who is the um, owner of Wonderville Threads. So we'll be, she'll be talking to, um, Andrew, so there's, she'll be doing lots of working hard while her husband's playing um, <laughs> while, while she's out in California. So that's coming up during the week. Um, so she'll be gone all next week. Next week's Facebook Live will be Dudley and she'll be talking, we put some together some really fun um, pillow kits. Then she will show you how to put, uh, make pillows using the burrito method um, and we've got I think six or seven kits uh -huh. that we've um, pre-selected some fabrics and those will be up on the website on, in time for next week so you can do these They're, they make wonderful gifts um i mean who wouldn't like to sleep on some pugs um, i want one <laughs> there was one with snow globes and it's like oh what little child wouldn't like to be just dreaming a snow globe so um that's next week's facebook live and then the following week uh, Judy and I will actually be out. We'll be doing the Facebook Live from Sacred Threads. Um, Artistic Artifacts has been a sponsor of Sacred Threads for a number of years. Judy has a quilt in that she made in collaboration with a very dear friend from her guild. Um, so we'll be showing some of the quilts. We hope to talk to Lisa Ellis and um, Barbara Hollinger while we're there. So please join us. It's a very, very special show, and it's the last time this show is going to be in our our area so we'd like you to be able to share that with you because there's so many of you who can't get here for the event and the last thing is to remind you that we have um, special summer sale uh, savings on our sale fabrics they are an additional 25% off um, through July 13th we have to make room um, we've got bolts and bolts and bolts of fabric coming in. We've got lots of cape that will be arriving um, in anticipation of his visit here in October. And we've got some other holiday fabrics that have not arrived yet. So there's lots coming in and we must make room. So please, please help us and buy some. Uh, and there's some great fabrics. Um, they're some of our favorites. It's like, why are these not sold yet? So um, there's some great stuff. Yeah, so. And the price is great for backings. Price is Sharon, great. Well, perfect. Twenty five percent off, already marked down, and some of them have been marked down a couple times. So yep. they're really some great prices. All right. So Barbara and I are here today to talk about how we can be inspired, how we have been inspired um, by panels and our own quilts, and to talk about ways you can use panels in your own work. Um, and um, show you some of the panels that we have and hope we can inspire you um, to, you know, to, to take some panels and make something special for yourself or as a gift. So for me, working at the shop, um, I mean, I've been working around Judy for a really long time. So we have thought primarily as panels as artisan boutique panels. So how do we use panels in a number of different ways? This particular panel, I selected the border fabric um, one day when I was actually cutting an online order of these beautiful uh, digital prints by Dan Morris. And I'm like, oh, look how wonderful they would go with this new fish panel that we had gotten in. So I put the, the borders on and then I was like, it deserves better quilting than what I can do with it. So I handed it off to Judy 
who needed to practice on her Q20. She hadn't used it for a while. So she did free motion quilting on it, getting those circles that she does, because I'm a straight line quilter. So she added wonderful circles, which were just per perfect to go with all the bubbles in the water and on the fishes. And then of course, Judy added sequins in beads, her signature work. But really, this is how we have thought of, of panels, panels for a very long time, is how to use them, how to use our batik panels. And we're still inspired by them. There's uh, lots of lots of ideas on how to use them. I I know there's this one is you you cut them up. This one is a whole a whole cloth panel that was um, we actually used uh, sari silk uh, fat quarter bundles just to put a log cabin a wonky log cabin border on it and even so daring as to where's the one that i cut up was oh, it in the it, back? no it was there it's there you were close i thought the fish yeah oh that's what you the fish just went by but maybe the whole cat maybe i mean this one judy you sorry silk around it too so there's lots of options it might be just in the gallery. This yeah. one has actually got hand dyed lace and beads and ephemera. This one is absolutely stunning that um, Rosalie, this is Rosalie's, right? Yes. She actually cut the panel in, and um, heavily beaded it and put a border around each block that she had cut up. Oh, here. These are ones where I actually took a block and I put uh, Misty Fuse on the back, cut them out, and put them on a pieced backing. And the same in this. So this is how we thought of panels up until just the last couple years when our fabric reps come in and they have got some beautiful printed panels. So um, by some of our favorite designers. So it was like, oh, maybe we need to branch out a little bit and mm -hmm. add some panels mm -hmm. to our thing. So we wanna show you um, not our current panels, but some inspiration from the staff, because we talked about this in our staff meeting the other day. Um, how do we use panels? Mm -hmm. And so we have, this is a very old panel, I think Kathy said. It was a challenge. This is by Kathy Edwards. It was a challenge to use a panel. I think it was maybe in her guilds or her uh -huh. sewing group. So she said she got carried away <laughs> using her scraps and she just kept adding. It's almost like a trip around the world, but she's using blocks instead of just single blocks. She used piece blocks using stash fabrics. And she ended up with an absolutely stunning. Is it not king size? King size. <laughs> yeah. So a small panel can direct, go to great big mm -hmm. things. So this was, I mean, when she showed this the other day, it was like, oh my God. And she said, this is old. Um, she, she's had it for a while, but it's one way of using it. This is another one where we go back to a petite panel and Kathy took this one and took a really awesome piece of, I think this is a Denise Parkett, Denise Parkett. Mm -hmm. um, fabric. She cut it up and did a modified, well, it is not, it's not a modified Bargello. It's it is Bargello. Yeah, but, <laughs> but with wide strips rather than some narrow strips. But she was using the panel to really show off the fabric or vice versa. But that's, a I love that and one. I like how she made the top and the bottom much larger. The, it's so sides. You don't have to have your borders all the same yeah, size. Yeah. But just, you know, just great use of a small panel, um, probably what about a half yard of mm -hmm, fabric, mm -hmm. um, makes just a glorious wall hanging. And then I think she just knocked our socks off like this one. That's it. Yeah, there you go. This, she said, was 
four panels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she used four panels. How did, how did she describe it? She to... cut them in strips and then sewed them back together, slightly offset, an, another modified Bargello, I would call it, to get the, the kind of blurred image here, the fuzzy image. She and, said four panels and then she lost me after that. So, and I think these actually, um, they remind me of some of the early frond. Yes. And they came as four big panels. Oh, okay. um, but you could definitely use that with other panels that, mm -hmm. that come mm -hmm. that way. But just a stunning art quilt. Um, but the, other than cutting it in strips and piecing it, it's not a an enormous amount of piecing right, involved right. in it. Yeah. It's all straight yeah. stitching. So it's... And then this is another one of Kathy's that... When we think of panels, we're thinking of printed panels, whether they're the artisan batik um, or um, some of the, the printed ones or the digital printed ones that we have. This one is an actually a wonderful way to say, this is a whole cloth quilt that she used a sarong as a panel to make her quilt. And we carry some beautiful sarongs. We've got some that we're, you know, hoping to get listed before too long that have been sent to us from Indonesia that, um, again, a great way to do a whole cloth quilt. And I think, I think two people in the staff meeting said it's also a great way to practice your, your free motion, free, free your free motion. motion quilting <laughs> because it's something like this. It's it's busy enough that if you're not just really comfortable, right, and you're, right. the, you're the free motion yeah, quilting it, person. She just used the pad, the fabric pattern as the basis for her free motion quilting and, and stitched around each of the flowers so that they would really stand out. Very simple free motion quilting and it just has a beautiful effect on the sarong here. But it gave her a good way to practice like mm -hmm. leaves um, and you know some outline stitching, but with the free motion. Okay, Sharon would like you to hold the book up again and tell her the title of the book. It's the Colorful Batik Panel Quilts. Colorful Batik Panel Quilts. By me. <laughs> it's actually, we have um, in the discussion for the event, I have listed all of the, I've listed the books and the link, uh, the link to the books, the link to our batik panels, as well as the panels we're going to be showing you today. So those links are there um, for you to, if, you know, we inspire you with our, <laughs> our discussion today. Um, uh, those are all available for you to, to purchase on Artistic Artifacts. Okay, thanks, Chris. All right. So this started partially as it's Christmas in July. Um, so we've got a lot of par uh, Christmas and July events. So we did start with a couple panels. So this is one actually from a fun panel from Dear Stella from last year. We actually had it as a shop sample in the store last year. And what we have done this year is we've actually put together some kits. So we have provided the panel and two fabrics and each of the kits, there's a, a kind of a light kit and a, a darker kit. So they're not all, you know, it's not an either or, but we have those kits, um, those, I don't know that they're up. I think we're aiming for Wednesday, all of this, sorry. This will be in the, the Wednesday. newsletter on Wednesday yep. link. So make sure you're signed up to get the newsletter. So this is, this is one of the ways you can actually, a very easy way mm -hmm. to do a, uh, use a panel. And that was free motion stitching also. I just let the panel tell, I just followed the panel. And just simple, she followed all the stitching. Um, she followed the leaves. So it's not a lot of stitching on here and it's not difficult. It's you can easily do this on your domestic machine. But you could take it on your Q20 and add some more about Because <laughs> <laughs> I see some things that could that use still, some action. Yeah. For, what, for what, what we used it for last year, this was just perfect. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Boop. Any questions? Nope. All right. Lots of hearts. 
So that was, um, that's one panel that we have from last year. And when I see you have a message to me, no, I'm sorry, darling. I will be at Bernina University next week. I will be back in the shop the following week. So this panel is just so much fun. This is a holly jolly panel. And now we're gonna to start to tell you about other ways you can use the panel. Judy's idea on using this panel and this panel that we will um, have and this panel, which really actually goes with the Holly Jolly. It, this oh, is it a, does. This is the same designer. So any of these panels would make wonderful garlands. I just, I love that idea. I can't wait. But they could make, you could cut them out. You could make a quilt with them. I actually chose to use mine to make a modern Japanese rice pouch. And is that hand stitching on there, So I, Chris? of course, did some hand stitching. I embellished a few of the little pieces. So I've got, I just used some eleganza. Beautiful, just a little bit of highlight. And this is a complimentary fabric um, in that same Holly Jolly line. So I've got a piece of that. And we also have this fabric. Uh -huh. But what I used these bags for last year was to, um, I used them as gift bags. Great idea. So in addition to putting something in them, they have a bag. I've got one. I just would want to get the bag as a gift. <laughs> I know. <laughs> sitting in my sewing room with just like this with threads in it because mm -hmm. I have more threads than I can fit on my thread racks mm -hmm. and then the same designer has we have some additional fabrics and again we're we're at the mercy of our distributors so this would make a gorgeous quilt and then we have these fabrics that also go with these, so ooh, can't wait. Yeah, we try to make things interchangeable as much as possible because we don't, as a policy, go in and buy the whole collection. We buy things that we think will work with your stash and work with what we else we have in the store. That's what we do when we buy. And then the pattern I used, and You've seen a number of these is the Modern Japanese Rice Pouches by KZ Stevens. Carol, see, this is, here's the pattern, and we do have it on our website. And we have another pattern by her that's um, called the Little Round Bag. Similar idea, also very easy to make. You could, she says it's hand-stitching. Um, actually made one of these hand-stitched. They're just good palettes to do, and I'll show you another one I've got that um, I used on some, another pattern. Do you want to talk about what Kathy's doing sure. with this one? Oops, sorry, I got. So we have these beautiful panels in the shop right now. I'm going to show you the panel and then you can see what Kathy has done with it. So here's what she started with. And she fussy cut it. And she fussy cut it. She fused the whole, whole entire panel first with fusible, and then she cut it out and fused it onto a background of black fabric. And she it's on her design wall now as she's trying to figure out exactly how she wants to complete it. And I think she said she used like steam is team two, yes. so the, a two-sided um, fusible. So she fused it to the fabric, mm -hmm. left the paper on, and then she was able to fuse it to the solid. And it, uh, this feels like it's a Kona. I think it's yeah. a solid. Yeah. And she's pondering, much like Barbara and mm -hmm. I are pondering how to finish our panel yes. quilts. Yes. She's pondering what she wants to do next. Um, I, she told us in the staff meeting she's thinking of doing either some woodblock printing with metallic paints or mm -hmm. a chop. So um, stay tuned because you'll see more of this quilt. Um, it's just an absolutely gorgeous. And we have complimentary fabrics that go with this panel. Um, and I know we have some more uh, 
Asian inspired uh, coming metallic coming sometime when sometime this fall. All right. Are there any questions? I would expect there's a lot of ooze and ahs. There are lots of ooze and ahs. <laughs> Debbie's asking to speak a little bit louder. Okay. That's unusual for me. Yes. <laughs> Now, we're not all about Christmas, because everybody doesn't celebrate Christmas, and other times there's other reasons to make a quilt. And if this doesn't make you smile. <laughs> I love this. Such attitude. <laughs> so what would you do with this panel? Oh, I have to contemplate for, I like the idea of cutting them apart and doing them juxtaposed and not just have rows yeah but a similar panel um customer was in the other day and needed a baby quilt mm -hmm. and it was a new sewer new quilter so she was going to use it as a whole cloth quilt mm -hmm. and then just do some quilting a little bit mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of quilting and this one is the feather fiesta fat quarter bundle so the panel comes in the bundle and then it has some wonderful coordinating fabrics to go with it. So that's an easy way mm -hmm. to do it. You can do it a whole cloth. You could do individual blocks. If you need quick and easy, yeah, you could do it the whole cloth and just stitch a little around each block. Now I could see that you would take like maybe three of them and put them in, and wouldn't they look fun in a kitchen or, mm -hmm. you know? Balance over your kitchen window yes, yes, would be adorable. Yes, yes. Yeah. So lots of potential. So really you just have to think of kind of outside of the box mm -hmm. from very simple, I'm a new colder. This is a, go a good way to make a project mm -hmm. to um, let me go. And some of the panels are sold with fat quarters and some of them are sold on their own. This one is sold as a kit, so fat this quarter is kit. another new one that we just got in. Okay, here's a question. Sharon, here's a beginner. She's a beginner. When you cut them apart, do you cut in the center of those borders so that each square has a little border? You could do it either way. Sharon, there are no rules. You can do it however your eye sees it finished. You can leave a little border on it. You can cut all the border off, which is what I did when you see my quilt. I I chose not to use the borders, but they're there, so use them if you want to. It's whatever it looks right to you. And sometimes you can leave one, if you want the entire block it's you in your can, piece, you want to leave a half inch because seam allowance. you're going to have a seam allowance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or a quarter inch right. for your seam allowance. So that's one way. The other would be if you really want to border that block. Um, with this fabric, you could cut it a little bit larger and say, you know, pick your midpoint mm -hmm. and um, you would then get pieces on either one. Mm -hmm. Or like Barbara says, you cut it really to mm -hmm. the edge and, and put it in that way. And this one is another one that comes with a, just a beautiful array of uh, fabrics to go with it. And this is the Feathered Friends by Sue Zipkin. It's a fat quarter bundle with 18 pieces and it's like $70. And the fabrics in here are just beautiful. beautiful. And they, ha they have a nice feel to mm -hmm. it. It's a nice soft fabric. Oh, and those are cloth work, yeah. They yeah, have nice cloth work, work, yes. And what was the other, the, the chickens were? Um, the Fiesta Friends. Fiesta Friends, okay. And the links are in the... Um, on the event yeah all right before we get down to the true inspiration we've got one more panel that you've seen before and this is a happy chance bundle this is uh, Laura I needed fabrics and this has an enormous amount of fat cords. I was gonna say it doesn't say how many but there are a lot of fabrics there are a lot, yes but what I wanted to point out, and I'll do it on um, another one that I've, um, the one I'm working on, is you don't have to use every single fabric, right, all at once. But it's a great stash builder. 
I used a lot of them in the um, piano keys border. I fussy cut some of them and fused them on, handed over all of my leftovers to Judy <laughs> who made a really good sized lap quilt with Emma pattern. Mm -hmm. And we still have some fabric left over, but they are just glorious colors. Mm -hmm. I, I think I used every stitch. Oh, did you? I used every stitch. There is not a single piece okay. of fabric left. But you got, we got two quilts out of one bundle. So mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a pretty good price. Yeah. They seem intimidating because they're so huge and expensive, but they're perfect. This is just really fun. Oh, wouldn't that be fun yeah. for your sewing room? Yeah, absolutely. Melinda, um, the, see if you can go to the Facebook event and find the link for the Fiesta Friends. That, that should take you right to it. And I'll get oh, a Feathered Fiesta. Florence, thank you. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. The next one. Trudy's asking if you painted your shirt. No, I didn't. <laughs> I could But you could have. <laughs> no, I pay. I don't, you know, garments aren't my thing. So, this quilt is made from these panels. So, is this a Dan Morris? And a, a this one? is a Dan Morris digital print. Yep. The pattern is called Riding the Waves. And there are two panels two colorways of the panel. We generally get sucked in with animals. <laughs> well, we didn't get sucked in enough because we did have to reorder. reorder the panels. And I think a lot of the fabrics are gone already. But there's thinking. lots of things. Yes. But you know what? I think this would go awesome with that Tim Holtz. Patina. Oh, yes. The yes. Tim Holtz would It'll look great. great. A lot Holtz. of the Tim Holtz, the mm -hmm. alchemy and whatever. So again don't don't get stuck with oh i've got to have everything has to match well it's like judy was saying that you buy what with whatever else goes in the shop too not just from the single line so you could coordinate it with tim holtz or whoever or else batiks it would go great with batiks yeah it would yeah. go great with some of our aboriginal fabrics absolutely and then see there's actually a light color between the blocks and then there's a dark mm -hmm. color the navy so yeah, there's two a, options cream, on the panels cream and navy yes yeah. cream so my inspiration from looking at the panel was as soon as i saw it i mean i don't even think it was listed yet i came <laughs> in from the warehouse one day and i'm like oh my god i have to have that so again this is a modern japanese rice pouch pattern but I have cut out some of the pieces from a complementary fabric in the line. And I hand stitched, because that's what I like to do. But look at that octopus. I like the crab. Yes, I love the crab, but I had to have the crab in it. Yes. And then this, it's got a lining as one of the other fabrics. And me, <clears throat> I cut, this actually took three pieces uh -huh. so I still have lots of panels Ooh, Jen what a snag she said there is some Dan Morse in the sales section yes, that would go is. with this panel yes, 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 and yes. we know the sales section is an additional 25% okay. off for a limited time jump on that girls so here are I've cut them into smaller panels and this again is where I've cut a seam allowance mm -hmm, in there mm -hmm. And I'm hand stitching those and I've got, of course, you know me, I like some painter's thread, but I also have some Wonderfill Eleganza. Mm -hmm. And I think that these will make just little, little quilts as gifts. They, I'll, I'll oh, probably, so a cute idea. I'll probably just do Sorry, a, I'm going too fast. a facing um, on them and, you know, mount them. They'll probably be like eight inch and I'll just mm -hmm. mount them on a, a, you know, artist canvas as a little um, art quilt. This will be beautiful. All right. So have we inspired you yet? Yep. Yep. There are lots of lots of uh, lots of hearts. Lots of you got it. Like okay. liking the panels. Now for N the big one. <laughs> <laughs> now for the one that started. <laughs> yes, this was why we were asked to do this. So there's Barbara's. 
This is the bundle. Okay, so here's this bundle. Fiesta Beauty, Fat Quarters. All right. And this is one of the panels. And I'll get mine. Later. And this came with two panels. So we challenged Barbara and Chris. So they took one each panel. There's one, and here's the other. Barbara got a whole lot further. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of your ideas have to percolate. Yes, they do. Absolutely. <laughs> you don't take it home and, and make it that no. that no. no, no. It has to hang on your it, design It took wall. me a while. I had to think about it, go through some books, and you know, just get some inspiration from outside outside the box here. So it took a while for me to figure out what I wanted to do with mine. Well, it was fun the day that we picked them because we had them out at the front, and I think Dudley was here that day, mm -hmm. and we all had different – it was like – Oh, you could do this. You could mm -hmm. do that. And then mm -hmm. she had to go home and let those ideas right, right. think about them. All right. Let's see where it, what you've all done. Right, so this is what I ended up with. When I used all four of these panels, and this is what I ended up with. That's the best way to do this. Let's put it up here. Okay. I'm going to step back. Okay. Yep. There you go. You got it. Here, I got it, and you can go and talk about it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So I opted to cut them out, the wreaths out. It's upside down, so the bird's facing the wrong way, but that's okay. That's all right. And I used um, our painter's thread trim just to cover my raw edges around here so I wouldn't have to do it by machine. I just liked the, the touch of the painter's thread. And I I'll get a close-up of that in a minute. Okay. Keep going. Most of these fabrics are from my stash. The, the body is all from my stash. I do believe they're from here they from are. several years ago. Because <laughs> I have that in that. Yeah, yeah, um, the holiday batiks yeah, are from yeah. Yeah. yeah, these are these are all batiks and then the more solid gold on, behind the rings. Here, let, me, let me turn it around. So. And then I brought it in without the borders. And everybody in the shop that morning helped me pick out the borders for it to, to try to set off the inside so this is what we came up with so I think I think that shop. lighter border really pops that yeah, green yeah, the and gold. the gold and the burgundy okay so how are you gonna quilt this I have been thinking about it wait it's I want to hold that up a minute I want to show them still the, percolating so so stay tuned so this is the small loop is that what it's, from yes, it's painters small thread loop and it's a double row of it Ah. One, one row alone wasn't hiding my edges well enough, so I had to put two rows on. Okay. And that's just, I, I can see from the back. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy. Okay. You've just, yeah, you, I just oh, zigzagged, zigzagged it. it. So, so you did it by yeah, machine. I did it by machine. And you okay. can't even see the stitching on the front side. Right, it, right. It disappears. I used matching thread, so it would disappear because I didn't want What thread size thread did you use? Um, did you use a 50 or did you go to Deco these, Bob? These are the confetti, no, confetti. Yeah, weight, okay. Yes. Looks wonderful. And I, I got some of our fun Mirage variegated. Um, I think it's 30 weight or 40 weight mm -hmm. that I want to try to um, quilt it with. I've not used the Mirage before, so that will be uh, an experiment with that. And the colors seem to go really nicely with this. So so we'll see what happens with it. They like in the circles. Oh, it's just gorgeous. But you don't have to cut them out. You can use them. Like Chris said, we were kind of brainstorming on how to use it. Oh, you could have used just... We could have made, a, you know, put put two of them and done a table runner. You could have made placemats with it. You could have made a wall hanging. hanging with all four of them together. The fabrics in between are great fabrics. You, I chose to cut all mine off, but you don't have to. You can leave them on. You could do it as a whole cloth quilt. There's so many different options. Well, and, mm -hmm. and some of the fabrics that are in between, I mean, this has a border on it because mm -hmm. it has this. But those fabrics then are... They're also in the bundle. They're in the bundle. And they are, they do have metallic on the ones that Barbara used in her quilt. Almost all of them have a little touch of metallic. And the bundle has metallic. So yes, yes bundle. Metallic has definitely come in back into vogue in the last couple of years. Okay. But I think one of the things we want to want to say is Barbara chose, and when we go to mine, um, we didn't use all the fabrics in mm -hmm. the bundle. So just because the bundle comes with fabric, 
doesn't mean that you must use those in the bundle. There are other uses for mm -hmm. those. They will end up in other projects. Um, I've got a couple things I'm gonna show you with the fabrics that I took home from the, um, the bundle. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. don't feel like, oh my goodness, um, I don't like all of those, or those don't necessarily float my boat with this is um, there's lots of potential. Sure. You get another whole quilt out of it, like Judy did with the Happy Chance bundle. Yes. What does whole cloth mean? That you actually use the entire cloth. And you've not cut you it or pieced, pieced it. it. You haven't pieced yeah. it. There's so no you piece use it. the whole cloth and you just use it as your background your for, your yeah. for your quilting. Yeah, your yeah. palette yeah. for your quilting and your ephemera, your whatever you want to put on it. Okay. Ribbons and, and all kinds of trims, whatever. All right. So for our final one, I need help. So this was my panel. You were too busy making rice bags. <laughs> I also couldn't decide, so I want to ask everybody to help me decide. Okay. So. Get ready for some suggestions are in our audience. So. You've seen my quilts before using this absolutely scrumptious pearl white fat quarter bundle. It's another one of those huge ones. Um, I made two quilts. I started out with the intention of making one quilt. This is a Stella, it's a GE design out of, I think it's the Mixology book. I was gonna make one lap quilt and then chose instead to do two small quilts. So this is in the shop as a shop sample. So I chose the grays and the pinks for that. This one actually hangs in my family room because I have new upholstery on my chairs. So I chose the lighter shades and the, the blues and the aquas. And as a result, because these called for 10 inch squares from the fat quarters, I had this whole bunch of leftover fabric that has been sitting in my studio waiting for inspiration. So I have been pondering, this has been laid out and on my design wall, do I want to do keyboard strips? If I do keyboard, do I put them all around the panel? Do I put them on one side? Do I put wide keyboard? Do I lose narrow keyboard? Does anybody have any suggestions for Chris? She's looking for some uh, some oh, input. I, I have two more ideas. So and these fabrics are beautiful with your paint. Well, look at it was just perfect when I was like, yes. Oh, look at the colors. Oh, yeah, gosh. Sharon, you definitely would like this pack. It's it's a gorgeous pack. So my I have three options that I'm pondering. And this is again why you put your your panel, your work up on your design wall, or you put it someplace where you think about it, because don't go with your first option. So my first option was, where were the fabrics in that bundle? Oh, oh they're right here on the corner. Oh, yes, there you go. So I took home kind of the lighter fabrics from the bundle, and my first option was I was gonna make log cabins with these fabrics and put a, a, a series of log cabins down one side. I had done that on a panel quilt, um, a couple panel quilts in the past, and it, it turned out really nice. I struggled a little bit with not having the right fabrics and the values and whatever for a log cabin. So then when I saw these, I was like, ooh. All right, you got a couple of suggestions. Okay, so one more of my uh, okay. ideas is that I'm gonna Piece these and do a Bargello Oof. down one side. So I, um, I mean, I've got a lot. I can easily cut my strips to do my Bargello and do the Bargello. And the, the other option would be to cut my panel and put my Bargello strips 
interspersed with the strips of the panel. So please help me. Catherine says small stars, because she's liking that first sample, I think. And oh, I, no, 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 strong, uh, triangles strong. like the tree shape. No, 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 no. Oh. I don't do those kind of piecing. I, I'm giving you my ideas and you come up with which one should I do? Oh, no, that's not what I asked him for. Oh. Keyboard on the left, right sides to enhance the height of the tree. Oh, Catherine says Bargello and small stars. Jane, your sister knows what you were asking. She says option number two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that translated the instructions wrong. <laughs> Who is that, Jane? My sister Jane, Jane, yes. Hey, Jane gets to be congratulated because she just has her the most recent granddaughter was born yesterday. <gasps> yes. yes. Oh, yes. congratulations, Jane. Oh, Jane has joined the strong women's sorority. Yes. yes. <laughs> we were on baby watch during the meeting the other day. <laughs> okay. I'm tending towards Bargello. Yeah, okay. And then it would be between Bargello down one side or Bargello interspersed with strips of the, uh, the tree. Any votes? Uh, I'm Sharon, I'm thinking I would love to see more surface of the fabric because it has shimmering qualities. So nothing small. Well, the Bargello, you'll see. Okay. Okay. Right. Lisa says, cut the panel option. Deborah, I like the log cabin idea. Trudy, Bargello in between the panel. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So I guess we're going to have to see what she comes up with on another Facebook Live. Maybe on our... Um... Gwen says, don't cut the panel. <laughs> oh, God. You guys haven't helped me one yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I've got lots of ideas. It'll go back on my design wall. I actually have some other fabric I'm taking. Sorry, that was that was me. Not I'm, I'm not the normal camera person. <laughs> oh, okay. And the other thing is, because I had these fabrics, I did make some bags with them, so they don't go to waste. This is the origami uh bag it's by GE design it's a free pattern and we'll actually um, get the link for you to the pattern you use a fat quarter it, you can use 17 and a half inch squares or 14 and a half inch squares so I use the fabrics that I didn't use to make little gift bags use a little sari silk used a little rat tail um, for the tie but fabric doesn't go to waste so. no Okay, no. and I just wanted to remind you, when you get this Fat Quarter Bundle, you get both of the panels in the Fat Quarter Bundle, the tree that Chris showed you and the wreaths that I showed you. So you get um, both of them. So you get uh, several gifts out of one panel of Fat Quarters. Mm, that's great. You Thank you. for yourself and give one exactly. for your friend. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and split it up like we did. Mm -hmm. so. yep. Okay. All, All right. right. We got to go open the store. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank uh, you. We'll see you next week.